doesn't matter what your eye shape is, Dino's going to show you the proper way to line it with eyeliner. Yes. So it's sort of if you want to compensate for the shape. Exactly. If you've got a really small eye, you want to make them look a little bit bigger, you'll show us how you can do that with eyeliner. And you can do the opposite, make something opposite. big look smaller. So we have examples of a small, narrow eye, mm -hmm. an almond eye, and a big round eye. Yep. The almond eye is, in, in makeup artistry, considered the perfect eye shape. So when we're doing beauty makeup, we're almost trying to render everyone's eyes to be almond because it's Got aesthetically it. beautiful. Okay. okay. Listen, they're all beautiful to me. <laughs> exactly. They all look good. So with a smaller eye, the major lesson when you're doing eyeliner is to keep your line really thin. Because okay. if you go too thick, you're going to cover up your eyelid and lose the proportions of your eye. Mm -hmm. The other lesson I always teach is start the liner at the outside of the eye, follow the eye lashes, establish a very thin line first, mm -hmm. and then right here at the inside edge of the iris, this is where the liner should start to taper off to nothing. Okay. A lot of women start their liner here and then work this way. And what happens is, you, it, over the course of the day, it starts to build up and it mixes in with your concealer and you can look really tired. So for day makeup, I always tell women to fade the line out there. Okay. okay. Also for a smaller eye, which is another nice thing to do, is make the bottom liner thicker yeah. and it creates the illusion of creating a bigger eye. Oh, like really? this is really good with a bright color or a, um, a black or a gray, anything. And it just makes the eye look bigger and a lot of people don't think about the bottom. Okay. okay. When you're dealing with a round eye, what you're trying to do is elongate it to make it less, look less round. The first lesson is starting here at the inside edge of the iris and then really extending the line out. So you're elongating the eye and you're turning it into an almond. Oh, I see. So okay. you're focusing more on the inside there yeah, to, to the, lengthen it out. So it's minimal here and then it's comes right into this edge of the iris mm -hmm. and then it's extended out. You can go as long as you want depending on how much room you have between your end of your eye and your hairline. Right. Okay. You're a good drawer. I'm <laughs> You're really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm like that. mesmerized. I'm like, draw my face. It looks so good. No, I don't know how to do that though. You can't do that? <laughs> I can't do that though. It looks great. Good at eyes and lips. Okay. Um, and then of course the almond eye, that's the one you can have a lot of fun with. You can keep your line really thin mm. or you can make your line thicker. But always taper it at the inside where the tear duct is yeah. and thicken it at the outside and lift it. Like a lot of ladies want to know how to do a cat liner. Yeah. Uh, so here, like this would be a typical classic line. And then all you want to do is build up the top, extend the bottom until you get to that point. It's always going up. And a 45 wow. degree angle. Oh, okay? wow. That makes everyone look great. Okay. Never down. Always it's a up. frown. Yeah. Do you ever do uh, underneath then for the almond eye? You can yeah. do that too. You get a top, bottom, bottom only, top. There's no real rules. Yeah. It's whatever makes your eye look its best. So the basically keep better on the bottom for a smaller eye. Right. Almond, um, you can do pretty much anything. And for a round big eye, this is where you can really exaggerate the makeup because it's a big eye. You've got a lot of room to work with. Now, I always thought with a small eye, you wouldn't want to do top and bottom because it'll make it look like an itty bitty, teeny weeny little raisin eye. It can if it's really <laughs> thick on top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of ladies in the studio like that. They come yeah. in and I call it hockey puck eyes oh. because they're too dark. They're all dark here and it yeah. makes her eyes look really misformed. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. So keep it to the inside there. Good lesson there, Dino. Thanks. Thank you. Let's go to break. More coming up.